Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Friday the 23rd of October. We begin with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Loving God, there are times when no matter how we call, you seem to be silent. When we cannot hear your voice, no matter how we listen for it. Grant us courage in those moments to ask if we have closed our hearts and our minds to what you would say. But also help us to understand that there are times when you expect us to simply get on with the business of discipleship without you directing our every step. Help us to see that your silence need not necessarily be a sign of our faithlessness or of your displeasure. But it might rather point to your love, offering us the opportunity to grow towards Christian maturity. Help us then to remember all those times when you have spoken unmistakably, to us and to others. And let those moments sustain us and direct us until your word comes again. For we ask this in the name of Christ. Amen. Hebrews chapter 10 Day after day, every priest stands and performs his religious duties. Again and again he offers the same sacrifices, which can never take away sins. But when this priest had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of God, and since that time he waits for his enemies to be made his footstool. For by one sacrifice he has made perfect for ever those who are being made holy. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us about this. First he says, This is the covenant I will make with them after that time, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts, and I will write them on their minds. Then he adds, Their sins and lawless acts I will remember no more. And where these have been forgiven, sacrifice for sin is no longer necessary.
Psalm 3 Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Loving God, we know what we should be and we also know what we are. The gulf between the two at times so wide. So we come now in shame and in sorrow before you, seeking your mercy. Forgive us everything that disfigures our life, the pride, the greed, the selfishness and the envy. Those things that alienate us, not only from ourselves and others, but also and above all, from you. Forgive us our unkind words, our foolish deeds and our unworthy thoughts, our weakness of will and our carelessness in discipleship. Work within us and by your grace, make us whole through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh,